Don't touch the door, sir. Or just don't touch the door. That's our job. Come back, I'll have you arrested. Welcome back to the channel. Now, as you saw, this is a new rideshare video. Now, I haven't done rideshare, Uber, Lyft, so on since. I would say probably 2018, 2019. It's obviously 2023. And uh, I'm sorry it took me so long to get to these videos. I didn't think that they would be popular or people would be super interested in them. And obviously over the past year or so, I've noticed that the videos have started to get more popular and I figured I have a bunch of them so why not share them with you? Uh, I don't know how many I have, so be a little patient, um, but also be patient because I have taken about six months off of doing video editing. I've done a little bit of stuff here and there, but I literally had to like backtrack and remember hotkeys. Once I did them once, I was back at it. But this video takes place in Las Vegas and I'm dropping people off at the Marriott Grand Chateau. It's right across the street from the Planet Hollywood off of, I believe it's Harmon. As you'll see when we get into this, I run into somebody that is not the nicest human being. Now I could have handled this better, but We'll get into that at the end of the video. So make sure you watch it all the way through, drop some comments below. Also let me know down below if I should do more of these because I'm gonna do at least one more. Um, but if you guys are interested, because I know there's quite a bit of new subscribers that do like this stuff, but uh, drop a comment down below, let me know. And yeah, here's the video. I'll see you after. Don't touch the door, sir. Jesus. Don't touch the door. Got it. Maybe you should put a sticker up here or something. No, I don't need to put a sticker there. Just don't touch the door. When you pull into valet, that's our job. Okay, your job is to not touch my vehicle. Don't ever come back to this property again. How about Sounds that? good. Yeah. Get a better attitude. Who's your boss? Huh? Who's your boss? I am the manager. You're the actual manager. Yes, sir. Place. Yes. So your job is to be rude to people. No, my job is to. Okay, because it's all on video. So as soon as you yeah. file that, it'll get filed right back to you. Exactly. But my job is to open doors, right? Yeah. And so don't it, touch the door when it's and open. The way you responded. The way you, re I said, you don't responded. Don't touch the door. It's on video as well. It's on so. video. Yeah. Be a prick. I'll be back. Don't worry. Want to make a bet? Okay. If you come back, I'll have you arrested. Okay. Sounds good. Where do I start? Um, I should have said please when he stopped the door. Uh, granted, we shouldn't have to sugarcoat everything to everybody, but I, you know, I, I wasn't in the best place mentally when I was doing Uber and Lyft. The first year I was fine, but after a while, 
if you're a driver and you've done this for a couple years, you know it just wears on you mentally. You meet a lot of the like bad people in a sense and it kind of washes out all the good stuff that happens. Um, and towards the end, I started just saving all the bad stuff. So I don't really have any good clips, I don't think. Um, I got some really cool stuff. So definitely subscribe and uh, you'll see. So I was very argumentative because the guy was kind of telling me what to do about my vehicle and that just doesn't make sense. He didn't say, he didn't apologize in any way. He was just like, you need to do this, you should do this. And I was like, no, I don't. You just don't touch the door handle. So when you, when my door opens automatically, if you pull on the door handle, it will stop the door. So then the person can't get out. So it creates a problem and it just causes an issue. I do understand that it's, it's the person's job to open the door to let somebody out. But my thought process is I'm pretty sure that's like that with all automatic doors, doors opening then like a sliding door, I wouldn't think to grab it, but maybe because I own an, a van um, and I've been around plenty of them. Now I did understand why he was pretty hot headed. And I would say I wouldn't have acted exactly like him, but I would have acted similarly. And uh, after all this, I talked, I was like in a Facebook group. Uh, it's like Ride Shares Anonymous Las Vegas. Me and like five people started that. So if you're in that group, what's up? But I was one of the founding members, me and buddy Michael, Walter, and some other people founded that group. Then last thing I looked, because I'm like either the only admin left or there's a couple like Tyrone, Walt, I think they're actually still doing this, which is wild to me because that's like eight, I think they're like seven, eight, seven years or so into this. But uh, yeah, I've been told multiple different times back then that there was a guy there that was pretty hot headed and very quick to kick people out of there when they're dropping people off. There's also a place in towards the back that is where you pick up. So for probably the next three days, I just drop people just like right before you pull in, like back that way. So I just go farther down where the fence is, turn around and then drop people off. And when somebody was like, oh, well, can't you just drop me off at the door? I'd say no, unfortunately. And it actually ended up being better because you don't get stuck behind people when you're pulling in there. I think after like a week or two, I ended up dropping people off right in there. And I think the next day I saw the guy there and I think he noticed me, but there's obviously nothing he can generally do. I'm not setting feet on his on the property, whatever. He's gonna call the police. The police are gonna laugh. They'll never show up. I will be gone before he even like gets on the phone. It was 2017, so I did it for another two years or so after that. Just got run down and I was, I was working crazy hours. Yeah, that's the other thing you gotta understand is like at this point, I could have been three weeks in and you know however many 10 to 14 maybe even 16 hour days at this point so it was pretty funny especially when he was just like yelling i sw i swear he said something obscene like a f-bomb or something like that that's why i was like what and i'm like stopped and i was like i'll be back and i sure enough was but Anyways, I just want to let you guys know there is going to be a couple other videos. I have them on my timeline right now. And so I'm going to finish this one and then you'll probably see me in this exact identical place. I'll probably change my shirt um, and talking to you guys again. But uh, that was a quick one, more of me talking. But uh, if you're wondering why it's different than the last video of where I was sitting, I live in Portland now. Um, I don't do rideshare or Uber anymore or Lyft or anything like that. Uh, thank God. But uh, check out some of my other videos, my shorts, so on. Subscribe, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys on the next one.
Peace.